I'm out at my band's studio right now, and I wanted to show how we filmed us working on an idea for a song one night during a two-hour practice session and chopped up that footage into a working song by the end. The key thing about this idea is that we had a click track running the entire night. We had headphones placed around the studio and the click track was constantly running. Whether we were talking or actually playing, it was always running. So that way, no matter what ideas we played throughout the night, whatever parts that we came up with, whatever lines I chose to use in the finished video, they would still work with each other because in the video editor, when I placed them side by side, they always had the constant click track. So here's what I did. I came out to our studio one day and showed the guys just an eight bar sort of idea that I had on the keyboard. And we set a click track and pieced the song from the video that we recorded the entire time into a song. So we just jammed on it. We came up with different ideas. We switched instruments. So we have a private Facebook group and we just stream live to that. And then we can download that video later on and edit it. So if you look at this video, on the right is gonna be the actual finished video. On the left is where I'm gonna show you the clips that it took from that session, the two hour session. Luckily we were recording audio as well using a Zoom that was in the room. That rhymed. Because the stream that we did, something was wrong with the camera and the footage, when I play the footage from the actual session, that stuff has like some weird noise in the background. So luckily we recorded the audio. So this first part of the video here goes like this. This is the actual edited video. Now you can see I looped that part right there. It's one section. If I go to the left here and play the part from the actual session, you'll see that it's much longer. What I'm doing right now is I'm showing the four bars to Rob, our drummer, because he's gonna lay down a guitar part. This part actually happens 52 minutes into the recording. It's the, it's the beginning of the song idea, but I'm showing him this 52 minutes later. I'm actually just showing them the part for the guitar, and that's what the edited part here is. Then we go into the next part where he's laying down the drum track. And I loop this part that I caught from the video. And you can see there's the jump, and because of the click, I was able to create that part. Now, if I go to the actual footage that happened 23 minutes in, he's doing a bunch of other things. We're just kind of going along with the click and trying out different stuff. And I picked that one part for the loop that was there. So as the song goes along, he's playing that. So after this part in the song, when I was editing from the recorded session, there was this little break I wanted to have. Now that part happened at 19 minutes into the session. I found that and I was like, that would be a nice breakdown for the song. And it's actually Cliff in the background behind Rob there. He's playing a MIDI bass. You'll see it later on a little bit more clear, but this is him just goofing around with the MIDI bass, still following the click that we can hear through the headphones while Rob was setting up for a different drum part. <laughs> And you can see there's the bad audio that I was talking about from the live session that we recorded. Then we get to this little shuffle beat that I kind of liked. So I looped that a few times. This part happens 15 minutes in to us going over these ideas in the studio. And this is the part that that section had. And we just kind of go over this. If we go back to the actual video, with the better audio, of course. And there's a little variation. I took another section from that song, but then it does this part here. If I go and find that from the original video, that happened about 16 minutes and 59 seconds in. And it was only for a second but I wanted to use that part. So 
That's what I used, and I looped it a few times. Now this part, to get out of that loud, to get out of that rocking part, what I wanted to do is I wanted to take this little section where, as I was saying before, Cliff is playing a MIDI bass. So this bass actually <laughs> plugs into a MIDI controller. It has a bunch of weird effects to it. And he had been messing around with it. And on the actual part down at the bottom, you can kind of push on it and it starts making weird electronic noises. And that's what this section is, where he goes like this. If I go find that part in the timeline, he only did that for a second and I looped it and made it a little bit longer. And they had gone back into the other part before. But I just wanted that one section for breaking out of that rocking part. Now in the next part of the actual video on the right, I started layering different parts of the video. I layered the standing drum part and then Rob, who was learning the guitar part in the beginning when I was showing us going over the intro, uh, he actually started playing a part and I layered that over the standing drum part. You'll see on the left that I have a blank spot here and it's gonna show the standing video in just a second. All these guitar parts that Rob's doing is it's just him messing around. I just showed him the part and he's just messing around. So if I go to where that actually was in the timeline, it's literally just him messing around while the click track is playing and Cliff is keeping the bass line. just playing a bunch of different parts. So I took like four different sections and used those for the part that I wanted that goes along with the way I chopped up the video. And that's how it ended up on this part. And then here I cut to another part where later on he was kind of doing a different variation on the theme. So I did all that in Caden Live, matched up the audio with the video, which was too bad that the video wasn't as good on the original one as it was on the main one. That took a little extra work, but uh, I kind of liked that we were able to create an entire song out of a two-hour session of us just met. We had no idea. They didn't even know that I was bringing this to the table, and we were able to cut it up and turn it into a song later on. <laughs> <laughs> 